Like and subscribe right now or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. Being the president of a country is more pressure than you could ever imagine. Unless, of course, you're a president watching this from your private yacht somewhere in the Caribbean. What's even more is the pressure to keep up appearances, live a lavish lifestyle, almost look rich and polished, and of course, own some of the wickedest gadgets and vehicles in the world. These cannot, in any way, exclude private planes. Because what says I'm the president of a whole nation than owning an insanely expensive aircraft? When it comes to private aircraft, presidents are usually found at the top of the food chain and their properties more often than not cut above everyone else's. These days, you could find these political leaders taking luxury air travel to unexpected heights, pun very much intended. We are bringing to you the 10 most expensive planes owned by presidents all across the world. Number 10, A340-500. The number 10 on this list is the most expensive presidential plane in Tunisia's luxury aircrafts, the Airbus A340-500, which is registered as TS-KRT. The four-engine airline was delivered in November 2009 and saw little use. The then-president, Ben Ali, hardly used it for his presidential air journeys. Instead, he flew in a country-owned Boeing. So there it was, the Rolls-Royce Trent 500 power engines and exquisite decor rotting away as though it didn't cost a fortune. Ben Ali purchased the airliner for over $200 million. So many zeros for a plane that hardly ever even got to fly, isn't it? After Ben Ali was ousted in 2011, the new Tunisian government struggled to pick up the pieces left by the disposed dictator's actions. The Airbus was eventually put up for sale. It wasn't doing much before that anyway. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 9. Bangladesh's Boeing 777-300ER While you may not associate or equate Bangladesh with the lavish lifestyle, the country's Boeing is one of the most expensive presidential planes, and believe it or not, it is also said to be effective and eco-friendly. The government of Bangladesh bought and took delivery of this aircraft in 2014. News of its arrival broke aviation headlines with much scrutiny at the uncomfortable number of zeros it cost. Bangladesh's luxurious Boeing was bought at a whopping $260 million. And while you may be wondering if it really is worth that kind of cash, you might like to know that the aircraft is actually considered to be a lighter and efficient version of its Boeing predecessors. It had seating for both economy and business class, and its eco-friendly model produces about 22% less carbon dioxide. And that does the Earth much more good than a $25,000 car. This airship is so efficient that it can fly non-stop to any destination of the Bengali president's whim across the whole of Europe. So perhaps the few extra zeros were not a waste at all. Number 8. Jordan's Airbus A340-600 Jordan's Airbus A340-600 is the largest capacity member of Airbus A340 family. It had an overall length of almost 249 feet that could accommodate up to 370 passengers. It carried Jordan's leader to official trips at the cost of $275 million and provided an in-house feeling while in the air. There were several luxuries to this plane. These included state-of-the-art technology such as weight-saving composite structures and a fuel-saving aerodynamic design, along with pilot-friendly cockpits, flight controls, and systems. It consumed less fuel than other planes and is equipped with the most modern aviation technology. Number 7. Japan's Boeing 747-400 If you've ever heard the word Zen, you might quickly be able to associate it with the Japanese culture. Zen is the Japanese term for the principle of dihaya. Basically, it points towards simplicity and equanimity. Don't see where this is headed yet? Well, the traditional values of Japanese culture emphasize nature and simplicity. All of this was thrown aside when purchasing this beast of a skycrawler. The extravagant Boeing 747-400 featured four engines as well as an automatic systemization and a fully equipped cockpit that required a two-person crew. The airliner transported the country's leader for quite an exorbitant price at $300 million. Number 6. Yemen's Boeing 747-SP 
Yemeni's Boeing 747 had its last flight back in 2015 during the Yemeni Civil War. Why? Well, while still flying, the plane which was owned by then Yemeni President Abd Rabu Mansour Hadi, it was struck amid the chaos and crossfires during the war. The plane was completely destroyed by fire, and what was once a glorious and pristine aircraft was now a pile of rubble and ashes. At least, it was expensive rubble. The fallen angel was worth $300 million. Nevertheless, it is still considered as one of the most expensive presidential planes to date because, let's face it, it was worthy of a pretty penny. The proficiency this plane exhibited was like none other. It had an overall length of almost 185 feet with a wingspan of 195 feet and 8 inches. Now that was a big bird. The tragic fate of the Yemeni presidential plane was quite unfortunate, and it would have been terribly suspicious if Mazur Hadi just hopped out of his crib and shelled out the same amount. He had to adopt another plane for his air journeys after 2015 to avoid angry pitchfork holding, fist shaking Yemeni taxpayers at his doorstep. Number 5 America's Air Force Two, Boeing 747 200B. Now, this might blow your mind. If every passenger on this Boeing 747 200B shelled out a million dollars each, they would all be able to purchase the aircraft. That's $325 million for this airship that belongs to the U.S. of A. This plane could be described as the next generation to its sister plane, the Boeing 747-100. It was built heavier and stronger. In combination with the VC-25, this American-wide body commercial airliner carries the President of the United States for high-flying business matters all across the world. Although it might be worth mentioning that the Boeing is used for airfields that have shorter runways than usual. The aircraft runs on four turbo engines and can travel at a remarkable 969 kilometers per hour. And it goes without saying, the interior decor is one of a kind and is as luxurious as you could possibly imagine. Number 4. America's Air Force One, Boeing BC-25. Look who has two different aircraft in the same office. That's right, America. Nobody does it extra like America. This Air Force One, or as it's also called, the Boeing VC-25, is the military version of its sister plane, Boeing 747, which we just talked about. The gigantic airliner is operated by the U.S. Air Force, which is where its name Air Force One comes in. Both Air Force One and Air Force Two work in collaboration with the Marine One helicopters, as well as motorcade transportation. You might be asking, all this for one person? Well, yes. As you might have noticed from your extensive couch potato research watching movie after movie, the position of the U.S. President comes with a target on your back. The Air Force One is also, like its sister aircraft, priced at $325 million. And again, you don't need a degree in astrophysics to figure out that the interior decor would be astronomically luxurious. The most emblematic features include the spaces carried out for large conferences, cue that flashback scene from a Hollywood movie about war, desks, and dedication to technology. Number 3. Zimbabwe's Boeing 767 And number 3 is a country you probably didn't expect to show up on this list. The former president of Zimbabwe, Robert Mugabe, owned this $400 million worth airplane. Yeah, you heard that right. The plane's cost was so controversial, and rightfully so, because the country falls out of Africa's top 10 richest countries. Why the president would decide to shell nearly half a million on a sky toy was more than infuriating to many people. Nevertheless, here we are, with President Mugabe and his pricey plane at number three on our list. Yikes. The description of this plane might alarm you more. The interior of the airliner was nicely decorated with the nation's flag, which, if you think about it, was ironic considering he blew hardly sufficient national funds on it. The stairs leading into the cabin were lined with a plush red carpet, as though it was preparing to welcome Hollywood stars to the event. And the interior luxury? Huh, that would knock your socks off. In 2017, after almost 30 years of iron-handed reign, Mugabe resigned from the office after impeachment loomed over his head, like an especially pricey plane. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's picture was sent in by a subscriber. If you ever come across a picture anywhere and you'd like to know more about it and its origin, make sure to send it over to us. Who knows, your suggestion might get featured in the next video. Number 2. Saudi Arabia's Airbus A380 You can trust Saudi Arabia to be at the helm of affairs when it comes to luxury, wealth, and comfort. 
the former prince of Saudi Arabia flew all across the world in what was officially termed Flying Palace. After all, he was a prince, and nothing would be more fitting than his own private airplane, looking like a five-star hotel. And that it did. The interior of the Flying Palace looked like a divine goddess had a baby with King Midas, and then the baby threw up all over the cabin space. Gold. Everything looks like it was dipped in gold and mahogany. You wouldn't need a soothsayer to tell you that you smelt the wealth rising off the couches alone. Warm browns, creams, and tan colors featured heavily in the interior decor too. Large conference rooms and dining areas, long-winded corridors, and a private lounge. Prince Al-Walid did not come to the battlefield with toy guns. His Sky Hotel was furnished to the maximum, and it did not come cheap. The Flying Palace cost a whopping $500 million, and it was worth every penny. Number 1. Mexico's Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner What you're about to see is our number one priciest plane that any president has ever owned. If you're a Mexican native, you might not be thrilled at the thought of the country's former president, Enrique Pena Nieto, splashing out the nation's funds on the world's most expensive plane. But if you're an aviation enthusiast, you would definitely be more inclined to succumb to the beauty of this elegant skycrawler. The Dreamliner, otherwise known as the Jose Maria Morelos y Pavón, had a maximum capacity of 250 passengers and can fly 10,000 miles straight without even pausing or needing to refuel. This means it can make the trip from Los Angeles to Tokyo without even so much as breaking a mechanical sweat. But despite how gorgeous and efficient this Boeing seems to be, the total cost was a serious cause for concern. The amount dolled out for this plane was approximately 600 million. 600 million for a plane that carries one person. Preposterous, you might say. And honestly, so did everyone else. The rich brown and cream interiors were effortlessly elegant. A U-shaped sofa and several desks in the main lounge made it easy to relax and unwind in style. It's not surprising that the people of Mexico fought to the nail against the arrival and reception of the Dreamliner. What was one man doing with a $600 million aircraft anyway? Because of this, the dream of the Dreamliner was snuffed out in December 2018, when President Enrique Pena Nieto's successor announced plans to sell the Dreamliner. The profits would then be poured back into the economy. At least that would keep the citizens happy. We're finally at the end of this video, and we hope you enjoyed watching this as much as we enjoyed making it for you. Please give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to get more awesome content. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.